Today we go outside the clinic to the Waikiki Aquarium. Established more than 100 years ago, the Waikiki Aquarium is the third oldest public aquarium in the United States. Since 1919, the Waikiki Aquarium and the University of Hawaii have been solving mysteries of the deep. The Waikiki Aquarium is part of the University of Hawaii, and as, as that role, we're able to work together with researchers to, to uh, maximize our potential for research. The Marine Research Department assists with the survival of species by conserving and raising marine animals. This reduces dependence on collecting specimens from the wild and prevents the depletion of natural populations. Researchers at Waikiki Aquarium were the first to propagate and provide growth data on the chambered nautilus. They are currently working to conserve the rare masked angelfish and the Hawaiian goby. Researchers at the Waikiki Aquarium are also studying coral biology to improve understanding and protective efforts. We've also recently begun a program with the Department of Land and Natural Resources here in Hawaii concentrating on their rare corals that are found only in Hawaii and we hope to uh, propagate those corals and eventually rehabilitate areas that have become damaged by ship groundings or overgrown by alien algae. The Waikiki Aquarium has the oldest and largest living collection of coral in the U.S. It originates from coral fragments that broke off naturally instead of pieces harvested from intact coral beds. The fragments are then cultured to produce more coral. To reduce the collection of wild coral, the Waikiki Aquarium supports other researchers and aquariums around the world by providing coral from its collection. Aquarium research is also solving mysteries and disproving myths associated with sharks. The Waikiki Aquarium has an extensive uh, field shark and research program as well as uh, uh, we do physiological studies with our animals here at the aquarium. So it's a very comprehensive uh, program uh, looking at the basic role of ecology of sharks and rays uh, in the ocean. One of the physiological studies that we did here at the aquarium was looking at uh, the thyroid gland. We did a study looking at how the, the thyroid gland works and it turns out it's very, very similar to that uh, with the human medicine that you're seeing and we see several different types of goiters. You can have a simple iodide deficiency and then you have what's called a colloid goiter where you see um, large areas where you still have iodide but it's apparently not being taken up uh, properly by the animal. So the sharks are in some ways a very good model for looking at the, how the thyroid gland works in different environments. Propagation and conservation of aquatic species by the research department are just two important functions of the Waikiki Aquarium. Visit the aquarium and see the results for yourselves.